Welcome back to Living It Away. We are so thankful here on this show that we got a pick-me-up in the morning, and it's all thanks to Kauai Coffee, Coffee. And here to help us celebrate the coffee of the month is the general manager himself, Mr. Fred Cowell. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. My pleasure. I know you had to fly on over. It's a long trip. Uh, you spent a lot of time on the airplane, and now here you are in the studio for the first time. Fantastic. Last time I saw you, things weren't all that great. No, I've got some good news and some bad news. What do you want first? Uh, let's go with the good news. Remember your tree? Mm -hmm. It's only mostly dead. Ooh. Uh, so what's the bad news? Well, the bad news is we're going to have to watch it for a while to see if it comes fully back to life and starts <laughs> producing. So we're, we'll be watching it very closely. Thank you. Way to, start, way, to, way to start this whole segment off. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, coffee of the month. The flavor today is Tipica. Tell yep. me about it. So Tipica is uh, actually designated as a, a Guatemalan strain. Mm -hmm. It's uh, wonderfully sweet. We've got about 290 acres on our farm. It's the coffee that's most well known in Kona. So Kona Tipica is as it's typically called. Um, beautifully sweet toned coffee, medium roast is what we typically like. Mm -hmm. Complex, nice finish of ripe berries and Occasionally, I get something like a far-off smell of pipe tobacco. Ah, uh, really? Wow. I really enjoyed my tasting time with you while we visited you. Um, tell me about the, 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 your, your place, the center. Uh, folks can come there, try out coffees. Yeah. They can walk around. Uh, tell me about the place. Well, the Kauai Coffee Visitor Center has uh, many, many, many guests today. We now have farm tours that we're running. They can do their own self-guided walking tour with QR code uh, prompts. Um, they can sample various coffees and just have a great time. We're truly the Disneyland of coffee. Uh, it is It is very, very nice. Uh, any, uh, besides trying to replant the tree that I killed, um, how often do you really plant trees? Well, most of the trees were planted about 35 years ago, and oh. we're uh, looking at doing a replanting effort over the next few years wow. to, to rejuvenate the uh, farm. Um, we've got the nursery going all the time, so we're always experimenting with new seedlings, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see what comes up. How many times can one particular tree, say, in that 35 years, how, how, how many, I don't know if you've got the, the, the statistics on it, but I'm going to ask you anyway, how many bags of coffee, how many, how many beans, coffee beans, can it actually produce? Well, one way to think about it is one tree is going to give you about two bags of roasted coffee a year. That, wow, that, okay, yeah. that's a great stat. Yeah. So, so I, I kind of figured you'd know. Yeah. So one tree, two bags, that size, this size, mm -hmm. a year. Yep. Okay. And so how many trees do you have at, at Kauai Coffee Company out there? Uh, somewhere around three and a half million trees. <laughs> Man, that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Uh, somebody wants to get in touch with you guys uh, at the vis Visitor Center. Come down, book a tour. How do they do that? Just go to KauaiCoffee.com. All the Visitor Center information as well as all of our online sales is available right at your fingertips. Coffee of the month is Tipica. We're having it every day here on Living It Wait, but uh, thank you for stopping by. We'll do it again next month. My pleasure. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to have much more on Living It Wait when we continue.